Hey, this is Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. Well, it was 46 degrees this morning and it's only September 19th today and it's gonna get a lot colder than that. We're getting houses ready for the winter season so they can be more comfortable and use less fuel and be cheaper to own. You know, rooms uh, that are over garages are always an energy problem. The garage is unheated and the rooms over, in this case two bedrooms, wind up with cold floors and they're uncomfortable and of course uh, you know need more heat to, to be comfortable but still the floors are always cold. I want to show you why rooms over a garage are cold all the time. One of the major problems with fiberglass bat insulation is that it has to be fully fluffed and in contact with the surfaces all around the cavity. Now in this garage ceiling we have a 2x10 uh, ceiling joist here on either side and we have a, a, a fiberglass bat in there but if you can see up here we have a half inch of space between the bat and the floor and we have big spaces on the side so and there's a sp space on the bottom as well so here's the cold garage here's the cold here and the heat the, uh, the condition space is above here so the heat wants to move from more to less and we have spaces all around the fiberglass where uh, the heat could travel and the heat could be lost to the uh, the garage ceiling and that makes this floor cold and uncomfortable for the the homeowner above so by dense packing this garage ceiling with cellulose we're going to fill all around and even compress this fiberglass bat with that dense pack cellulose and fill all remaining available spaces and it cannot settle because it's dense packed in there it's very dense compared to this fiberglass bat it won't settle and it'll be in full contact with all the surfaces and it'll stop airflow and stop heat loss far far better than a fiberglass bat, and that's why we're here. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, that hollow floor system here uh, has bays in between each joist, and what we're going to do is we're gonna take the vinyl siding off the front of this house and drill holes to access each bay. Then we're gonna insert a PVC pipe connected to our cellulose blowing machine, and we are gonna dense pack cellulose in those bays around all the existing fiberglass bats. What we're gonna do to make sure we drill in the right spot is measure down from the glass at a window. When we blow cellulose through a PVC pipe, it creates a lot of static electricity from the particles going through the PVC pipe and uh, creates a shock. That could shock the installer. So we're going to ground our uh, pipe with a wire and a ground rod, and that'll take care of that. Now we have our pipe inserted all the way to the other end of the floor joist bay and we are right now blowing cellulose through this hose and we can tell by the speed that the cellulose is moving that I can hear it and feel it uh, how full the bay is getting and as it gets full I'm going to pull it back and pack it in there as I retreat from the hole and fill it all the way back to this front wall. When we dense pack cellulose to the proper density, we can stop airflow through a cavity, through a joist bay or a stud bay, because it's so dense. And we have this, you can see it's very tightly packed in here. Uh, and this is a, a wonderful process to air seal and insulate at the same time. Not all cellulose blowing machines are capable of dense packing cellulose like we are here today. But certainly the machine that we have is a very large trailer mounted machine that's capable of doing just that with the enough airflow and pressure to make sure that cellulose is packed in there at 3.7 pounds per cubic foot so that it will get a good air seal as well as insulation quality. The homeowner had uh, some plumbing up here and a valve that he wanted to access so we're blocking off the bay uh, to the left and right of that, and we're gonna dense pack cellulose into the balance of the bays uh, through our blocks, and then 
put some uh, bat insulation here just so they can pull down to access the valve. It's absolutely amazing how much insulation goes into a floor joist bay that's supposedly already insulated. We are blowing cellulose into each of these bays for eight minutes to fill them up with cellulose. And these bays already have fiberglass bats in them. So that shows you how poor of an insulator uh, fiberglass bats are. And dense packing will seal air leaks as well. Uh, now, uh, when this job is done, this house will not suffer from cold floors and those two bedrooms over the garage. And we can do the same in your house. If your home is uncomfortable, too hot in the summer, too cold in the winter in some rooms, if you'd like to lower your fuel and electric bills, call Dr. Energy Saver. We'd love to help you. I have a, uh, a ranch house with a two car garage under and our master bedroom and one of our uh, spare bedrooms is right above the garage. Um, we notice in the winter time especially, it was significantly uh, colder um, than the other rooms in the house. Um, our, our thermostat is in our living room than the other side of the house and that room would always be warm but the back bedrooms would be cold. If we have a finished garage with a sheetrock ceiling that goes right up to the, the floor joist. With a very unique process, they were able to dense pack cellulose without any mess on the inside at all. The work was done in less than a day. Um, and we noticed an immediate difference in the, um, the space. Uh, when I came home that night, uh, first of all, the thing I noticed was no mess. Um, the garage almost sounded like acoustically different when I would walk, you know, we walked in and I was talking to my wife and it sounded like almost like uh, sound deadening you, and you couldn't hear the outside. We live on a main road and the uh, parkway is nearby and we really couldn't hear anything when we were in there. My wife's a stay-at-home mom and, and I get up early to go to work and um, she commented in the afternoon that she didn't hear me leave even though the garage bay that I get out of is right below our bedroom. And then recently as we've gotten colder here and getting into the, the winter season, uh, we've noticed that the floors are significantly warmer, the room itself is warmer, and um, it seems that the heat is actually going on even, even less. So uh, we're very, very pleased with the work, and we're very pleased we had the work done.